Hi guys. In this video, we're going to show you the finished boards of all the terrain that I made, or tokens and everything else uh, that I went. And I'm also going to give you shots of the tournament we were in this last weekend. So, um, this one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna be doing, okay, yep. There's what my board ended up looking like. Uh, that was before the sand was down on the roads, but um, we're gonna be doing something a little different with these. Um, I'm mainly gonna be using primers. Um, I think one tint, uh, a couple, an oil wash, and okay, here's Jay's board. Man, they look so good. Um, I kind of wish I hadn't had to rush this so much. Um, we're, this is all just those um, Steino Res primers um, that I'm using here. Here's one of my buddy Pete's boards. Um, I don't actually think it's set up yet, um, but it's very, very, it, I'm really impressed with how dense this terrain um, <coughs> How dense the boards are that is um this is uh yeah i you know it seems like simple stuff all right here's here's uh pete's swamp board um man he's such a good job one of these days i'm gonna make terrain that good it'll be really cool um <laughs> but uh yeah it, it's I was under the impression that the board should have been a little bit more sparse, and I think I made a mistake on that. Um, now we're gonna go with a rust color on top here. Um, oh, all right, this one's I think's Mark's board. Um, another one set up with a mat. And, you know, I had the sparsest board out there, but it was, you know, okay to play on. I played on it. We, we managed to get a game going. Um, had a great game too with my buddy Ben. But the the end result that I wanted with this, um, wow, there's another one of Pete's boards. I think he had six, or maybe he had five. Um, he could get on here in the comments and maybe maybe get me straight. Um, they were busy setting up boards and making armies look good and I was busy trying to make sure I knew what the rules were um <laughs> uh yeah I felt a little rushed on this it was a it was a neat idea okay here's the boys um yeah you can't see it in this picture of course because I'm just too busy trying to get shots and not really paying attention to things but uh yeah everybody turned blue um at the end of the, uh, right before we went here. Now, here's where I'm using uh, one of the things that isn't primer. Uh, this is just um, chestnut ink, basically. Um, I found some from uh, scale 75. Okay, and here is another one of the boards. This was part of the opener that I made. Um, just fantastic. Uh, these. This board isn't done being set up either. Um, Pete has a fantastic way of setting up boards. I've been watching him do it for 20 plus years now, and I, he really is an inspiration uh, for my work that I do right now. Um, but uh, yeah, here we go. Let's get another dab of color on, ah, here we are. So the initial idea was I was gonna get a a very, very, very thin black oil wash on this. Um, didn't actually go thin enough. Uh, I, this dried a bit darker than I wanted to. Um, but, you know, it came back. It, the board would be fine. I think I picked the wrong felt for the bottom. I should have picked a gray felt or a black felt. 
uh, to get these to look a little bit better. But uh, here we go. Now we're going to walk through Jay's board. Um, Jay did a fantastic job on this board. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. He really, really, really put it out there. Boy, am I saying things like three times in this video. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, this is, it was such a fun time to play on that board. So now we're down to the ends. Um, I'm pretty much exclusively using weathering powders from here out. Now this is on wet oil, um, oil paint. Um, and it's a newer, not newer, but it, it's a technique that I've been picking up on. It really saves a lot of time and effort. Okay, so now we're gonna do a walkthrough through Pete's Swamp Board. Um, man, so good. Jay uh, took a little bit better, uh, well, he was filming a lot during this event, so I'm gonna guess he's going to do a proper battle report. I'm kind of just doing a, hey, this is what we, this is how I finish things up, and this is what it kind of looks like at the tournament. Um, I'm pretty sure he's got plans to do a, uh, a video on that tournament. But with these weathering powders, I brought out the crazy colors, like this is green, green moss. Um, worked out really well, too. I am, it's just a fun time figuring out new stuff to put on different kinds of terrain. Um, yeah, like those uh, gabions. Yeah, there's a bunch of them right there. Jay just did a video on, which is an awesome video, by the way. Um, yeah, I haven't even touched those things yet. I'm pretty sure I have some in my bits box somewhere, but I didn't even think to do it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna add to it. The sludge is, uh, yeah, so now we're gonna use some rusting powders to kind of tie everything together. And uh, then we'll have, you know, we'll have a board. And we did have a board. Ben and I played on it, we had a great game. Um, was a bit sparser than the rest of the boards, but I was under the wrong impression, mainly because I hadn't played the game yet. But uh, there's plenty of time, we'll build more terrain. Okay, so here we're gonna have a walk through Mark's army, which is pretty kick butt. And here's a walk through on Jed's army. Oh, no, there's some core tokens. Yeah, this is Jed's army. And we're just gonna have some end shots here um, I am extremely pleased that this all went off the way that it did. I had a great time. Um, thanks so much for stopping by and, uh, please like and subscribe.